Good morning guys. Um, I know that it's Saturday and I didn't post yesterday. Um, the idea I had for this video took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. I even started recording on Thursday and I still didn't get done till today. So um, I will show you what I recorded on Thursday and then it'll uh, show stuff I uh, me finishing everything today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning guys, it's Grace. I have Delilah here with me, but she's sleeping, so I won't uh, wake her up or anything. She probably can't hear me because she's a little, she's going a little bit deaf, so I think she's okay back there. Um, today's video is going to be a slightly different than my other videos. It's not going to just be me sitting here talking to you guys. I'm going to attempt to rip my own jeans uh, because I don't have currently any ripped jeans that are black. I only have uh, some that have no holes in them and I would like a pair but I don't really want to go out and buy some and I currently already own two pairs of just regular jeans with no holes in them that are black. So why spend money when I could just spend no money at all? Uh, you're right, that's what I was thinking. I wouldn't do that. So I have two pairs of jeans with me and I was looking at a lot of articles on how to do this. And most of them are telling you how to make they're telling you just to cut one hole and then pull a little bit with tweezers and that's not really the look that I was going for. I would like more of this kind of look right here. Kind of what these jeans already have. So uh, I couldn't find any articles telling me how to do a hole that looks like that. But I do remember seeing something somewhere and I a long long time ago so I don't have anything any uh, anything to link in the description for you to go see how to do this this is uh, stuff that I'm trying to remember from a long time ago and I'm just gonna kind of go for it and if these jeans get ruined I guess it's not that big of a deal anyways um, so I have like I said two pairs of jeans I have little baby scissors I have some tweezers and I have some regular scissors and I'm skipping a lot of the steps that they tell you. They say that um, you need chalk to or something of the sort to mark where you want the hole. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of pick where I think a good spot would be for a hole. Anyways, so I'm going to do these jeans first. So, as you can see, they're just normal black jeans. And I'm going to try and do a hole somewhere up here towards the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two holes instead of just one, which is what all the other uh, articles and tutorials and stuff tell you to do. Um, I'm going to cut two uh, like parallel lines, basically. And I'm going to start off kind of small and see how it works. Okay, so I just am, oop. Okay, I'm just trying to cut a little hole right here just to kind of get me started. Okay, so I have a little hole. I have a little hole right here. So just, I'm just going to cut it just a little bit. I think that's okay for one hole, right? Okay, and then I'm just going to make a, like I said, a parallel line under it. Um, so if you, I'm sure this will work with any scissors. I have two kinds of scissors with me, but I figured these bigger ones might work a little tiny bit better. And then it says, um, oh, 
it says to kind of uh, like pull at it with tweezers and whatnot. Uh, so I'm just pulling at it a little bit. And then I believe in the tutorial that I saw a long time ago to do it this way. I think there's strings going this way and this way in the jeans. And I think you're supposed to pull the ones that are perpendicular to the holes that you made. So I guess we're going to try and do that. Oopsie. I got one out. I don't know if you can see that. So I guess try and do that for the whole, the whole thing and see how that turns out. Um, it might take a little, a little bit of time. So. And they like to come out, they're coming out one at a time. So just keep that in mind but maybe I'll fast forward through this so you guys don't have to watch me. As, I don't know if you can see it, but it is um, thinning out in the middle there. So, okay guys, so I believe that I'm done with this hole. Uh, this is what it looks like. I don't know how well you can see that, but you can see that it's all the strings. And um, it doesn't look exactly like what I was going for, but it is more along the lines of what I was going for than most tutorials out there. So, um, I'm okay with it. So, I'm going to explain again what I did because I don't know how good of a job I did uh, earlier when I explained it. So I cut two, uh, it's hard to hold the jeans up, two parallel lines, one at the bottom right here and one at the top. So there was a gap in between. And then on that gap, I just started pulling out the strings that were perpendicular to the holes. So the ones that were going up and down. If you get tweezers and just start pulling, they'll come out. Uh, this is the little, the aftermath. This is how much I ended up pulling out of the jeans. So it doesn't take that long. Um, it depends on how big of a hole you want. These, this one probably took like five minutes, if that, maybe a little less than that. So, like I said, it all depends on uh, how big of a hole or how many holes you want and stuff like that. But I like it this way a lot better. Um, obviously, though, if you buy store bought, that's going to be the best looking jeans you could buy um, but you know I don't know how because um, the ones on the jeans I'm wearing right now aren't just like a square this one looks just kind of like a, a square you know so I don't really know how to change that but um, Maybe you could cut um, another two holes very close to this one so it looks like one big hole. Um, but, you know, do with that what you will. I think they look okay. Uh, better than uh, just a regular hole. So, you know. Okay, so I have the finished product on. So I have this hole up here that I did, and then this hole on my knee that I did. I am not very happy about how these came out. Um, well, I think I just don't like that how small the hole is on my knee. I think I just need to make it a little bit bigger. But when I had originally finished doing it, I didn't like it, so I 
started to make holes in my other jeans and then I ended up washing them both so that's how it got frayed kind of up here at the top where I cut it and at the bottom where I cut it there so to get that little frayed look uh, put them in the washer and dryer and I'm gonna try on my other pants to show you guys the second pair that I also cut Okay, so the second pair of jeans that I cut, I made the holes a lot bigger, and they're both on my knees, or right above my knees, pretty much. So I have this one on this side, which is the smaller of the two, and then I have this one on this side, which is the bigger. So, um, I don't know if this is necessarily what I was going for. Um, and I really did not like them at the beginning, both pairs, if I'm being totally honest with you, because it totally looks like you cut the jeans. Uh, but if you put them in the washer and dryer, it'll get that frayed look. And I think it could totally be pulled off that you bought them somewhere. But it takes a lot of work, especially if you want bigger holes, which is why it took me so long to finish this video. Um, it also hurts your thumb after a while, and you pretty much have to pull the strings out one at a time. Maybe two at a time, but it depends. Maybe it's just the jeans. Maybe your jeans will let you pull out more strings at a time, but very time consuming, but you know, pretty much free. So, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know if I will do it again, but I'm probably not going to buy jeans without holes in them in the future, so I won't have to do it again. But uh, I hope this video helped you guys, and I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed it and got some knowledge from it if you needed this kind of knowledge. And uh, like I said, I'm sorry I didn't post yesterday, so today's video was supposed to be posted yesterday. But I didn't get to finish till today, so I'm posting it today. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday.